Hello all, welcome to part 274 of Core Java training series. In this session, I'm going to give you an example where while loop need to be used instead of for loop. There are different situations that you come across in Java programming where in such situations, you may feel for loop is better than the while loop or in some situation, you feel while loop is better than the for loop. So now I am going to show you a situation where you will feel while loop is better to use than for loop in that situation. Okay. Most of the cases we can uh, use or replace while loop with the for loop. For simplicity, we generally replace the while loops with the for loop, but not in all situation guys. Okay. In some situation, it feels like we have to use the while loop instead of the for loop there. Okay. For loop looks a bit odd, though we can use while loop and for loop in that situation also, but that situation uh, kind of feel like you should be using while loop. Why we have to go for for loop kind of, okay? Though while loop can be still converted to for loop in this situation, but still you feel like while loop need to be used here, okay? It makes sense to use while loop here, okay? Though there is a possibility of using for loop, okay? That kind of practical example I'm going to cover in this session, guys, okay? So let me go to the Eclipse ID where I am going to demonstrate. I'll write some program guys. Okay. By using the file handling mechanism, I'm going to write a program. I'll represent this file guys. This is uh, there's a file here under this Java project. There's a file known as arun.txt file. I'm going to represent the file first new file. And uh, I'll hold the mode on this file class and import this from java.io package here. I'll provide arun.txt because this, this particular file is directly under the project. I can uh, provide the Okay, shortcut path of this arun.txt under the project like this. Okay, now what I want to do is if I open this arun.txt file, there are two lines of text. My name is Arun Motri. I love job programming is there. Okay, so th those two lines of text are there. I want to read the text. For that, I want to use a class known as buffered reader class. Okay, buffered reader. Br is equal to new. Buffered reader. Okay, I want to use a buffered reader class. So for the months on the buffered reader, import this from java.io package. This constructor cannot be empty. It's asking you to provide reader. For that, you have to create an object for the file reader. File reader fr is equal to new file reader. And I put a semicolon here. Import this file reader from java.io package. Now this constructor cannot be empty. We have to provide file. Already file is represented here. I'll provide the file here. And I'll provide this file reader here all the errors will be gone. Okay. There is one error coming here. Uh, either you can ignore the exception or uh, you can surround with try catch for now, not to make the code complex. I'm just ignoring the exception by using add those declaration here. Fine. Now this is the lines of code I have used by using this object reference of the buffered reader. I want to read the text that is there from the arun.txt file and uh, print them into the output console. That's what is my intention. So this BR has a method known as read line method. Okay. It will read line by line. So first time when it reads it, for example, if I say system dot out dot print error, if I say br dot read line, it will read the first line. What is the first line here? My name is Arun Motor is the first one. This line will be read, read and printed into the output because we are using the print ln, it will print into the output console. Now over the mouse on this and ignore the exception guys. Okay. System dot out dot print ln again br dot read line second line will be read what is the second line i love java programming will be read and printed into the output console second read line is also read what if i still try to read one more line which is not existing in the file you see there are only two lines here but i am trying to print the third line which is not existing first line it's okay second line is okay now again if you say br dot read line yeah uh, it will print null guys okay run this code you'll see that a null will be printed in the output for the third line okay for the first line it is there so br.readline has retrieved the first line from the text file. My name is Arun Motri. Then we again, when you say br.readline, I love Java programming is there. And now br.readline, since third line is not there, it is uh, returning null. So I'm not sure how many lines are there. In such situations, it's not uh, recommended to use the print statements. Rather, we generally go with the while kind of loop. First, I'll say print line is equal to, I'll retrieve the line. Okay, I'll retrieve the line, guys. And here I'll write a while loop saying, while line is not equal to while line is line is not equal to null, then 
just do this okay just print this system dot out dot print dll just print line guys okay just print line that's it okay remove this part remove remove these parts and here after printing the line again you have to say line is equal to br dot second line you have to read and if again while loop will be checked this particular line will be updated with the second line and if that is also not equal to null again line will be printed again if it is coming null it will come out of the while loop only if there are lines it will be printed if uh, null is coming it will print in uh, it will uh, not it will not print null in the output guys okay so if i run this code you will see uh, how many lines of uh, text are there those many lines will be printed guys when line becomes null automatically it will come will come up to the while loop this using this logic here we are using while loop okay the focus is on the while loop. you see only two lines are there you see null is nowhere printed here since two lines are there when null line becomes null automatically we are coming up the while loop in these situations you see do we have to use for loop or while loop in this situation i am using while loop for handling this situation but can i also use for loop yes i can also use for loop guys okay for but here for loop if you have to use instead of while loop if you have to use for loop i'm not saying that for loop cannot replace while loop in this situation for loop can still replace the while loop in this situation but we have to do some sacrifices here that is i have to put a semicolon here we should not be giving the declaration and initialization of the variable okay then condition will be there condition will be same as the while condition here whatever the condition is there that will be there put a semicolon no incrementation decrementation is there okay this is what is a challenge okay Still, it is going to work, guys. Okay. Still, it is going to work. If I uh, this for loop is going to work, but it doesn't look good in this situation for handling this kind of situation where you have to read only the number of lines of text available in the text file and print it to the output. For loop doesn't look good. You see, you are keeping this uh, first part empty, last part empty. That means for loop is not specially designed for this purpose. Okay. If you still forcibly, if you want to use for loop, you can still use for loop. But when you compare while loop with for loop, people prefer writing the while loop why they have to give these things empty right it doesn't look good so while loop is generally recommended in this case guys okay the for loop can also solve the problem but while loop is actually recommended you see for loop i'll just comment this part out and uh, i'll i'll run this code with for loop still you'll get the same output guys the two lines of uh, text will be printed into the output output console without any problem the loop is going to work but look wise this uh, when you have this proper possibility of using while loop why you have to go for for loop right the while loop is properly working for this logic. Okay, you don't have to give anything empty like initialization declaration. You don't have to give incrementation decre uh, decrementation. You don't have to give them. Why have to go for for loop? Okay, so while loop is enough for our purpose and looks good. While you when you write the code using the while loop, then using the for loop. So these kind of situations, okay, these kind of situations. Okay, so some people may have doubt like, okay, what's the use of while loop when already for loop is there? Okay, there may be some situations like this, guys, where while loop good looks good or looks better when compared to the for loop okay you have to sacrifice something in the for loop by keeping something blank but it's not it's not a direct uh, uh, thing that um, uh, you know right that is suitable for this kind of situation while loop is suitable for this kind of situations and will look good the code the way you are writing the code using the while loop will look good than the for loop in this situation okay in some situation whatever the while loop you are writing the same while loop you can simplify with the for loop in that cases, you can go with for loop instead of while loop. But this situation, right, while loop is suitable, guys. Okay, you don't have to convert this into uh, for loop for simplification. There is no need of simplification, and while loop actually looks good or better than the for loop in this situation. Okay, so hope guys, you got the idea uh, of uh, the example I have given where while loop is more suitable than the for loop. Okay, and looks good than the for loop. Okay, in that situation, when you are handling this kind of file and reading the data from the file, this kind of logics, while loop is preferable over the for loop. Okay, if someone asks you. Uh, where you will you prefer while loop instead of for loop, then you can give this example, guys. Okay, so that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.